Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg joining us now. Uh, Congressman, good to see you. Thank you so much. Congratulations, obviously, there on your win. Um, so Republicans have secured the Senate. Republicans have re returned, or a Republican have, uh, has, uh, has won the White House. Uh, all eyes right now on the House. Where's your mind at? What are you watching for? What are you hoping for? Well, the first thing I'll say is Hillsdale College is in session holding classes today mm -hmm. uh, in my district. Uh, well, that's I good to hear because it's not like that everywhere else. No, it isn't. So uh, hey, let's let's get a life and move forward. This great country. Sun has come up each of the three days following the election here in Michigan and, and the beautiful sunshine. Um, we're looking forward to a majority in the House uh, on a conference call yesterday with our all of our members. Uh, we had reports coming from California and other localities where the, the counting was still taking place. Uh, there was a great amount of optimism, even in California, that we would prevail uh, with a number of the targeted seats there uh, who um, were up as of yesterday and looked forward to the other out-of-pocket out of votes that would be coming in as primarily being in uh, more conservative Republican areas of the community. So uh, the guess right now is that we'll be around 223 when it all shakes out, um, a slim majority still, but we're used to doing that. That was last term also. But I think we'll come through with a much more renewed positive effort because we know we have the Senate. Uh, though they won't have 60 votes to end a cloture filibuster sure. uh, in many cases, yet the president is also there to give some punch this time to get things done. Yeah, and then you'll have at least two years to make it happen, right? Because as soon as, as the new session gets underway, uh, we'll have the midterms to look forward to. <laughs> Can you believe it? We're already thinking ahead to another election. Uh, but, sir, before we get there, let's talk about what happened in Michigan, where Donald Trump had a surprising victory in a majority Arab American city of Dearborn. Here's what one leader of Michigan's Arab community had to say about the win. Let's listen. I mean, the folks who voted for Trump are not theoretical to me. The folks who voted for Trump are my cousins, my friends, uh, people who were tasked with a very difficult, um, a, very, a very difficult task of uh, carrying a lot of grief and trying to do a politically savvy thing at the same time. Just a reaction, Congressman, to this voting block supporting Trump? Well, it was, it was expected. In the end, ending days of the campaign, we saw that coming that way. We, I was with the mayor of uh, Hamtramck and Dearborn uh, on, uh, on Monday night at Trump's last rally in Grand Rapids. They both spoke uh, and spoke strongly of support for Trump and their community support. And the main reason, they desire peace. And they believe that Trump as a strong, strong president, will push for and will the best li have the best likelihood of moving toward peace in that region. Uh, even though they know that America stands generally with Israel, yet uh, they also know that uh, a push from America uh, to both sides can bring about the solution where Hamas is defeated, uh, uh, hostages, hopefully the remaining few, will be released, and, and the region will get into a transition of peace again. That is Michigan Congressman Tim Wahlberg again winning out his reelection in, in, in a major way. We appreciate it, Congressman. Thank you and enjoy your weekend. It's a pure Michigan weekend. Information. Truth. Is freedom. Is Newsmax. It's real news for real people.